There is a feature in the later versions of SOLIDWORKS that is called markup. It's not specific to 2021, but uh, in the later versions, you have this option, especially useful if you're working with touch screen and it allows you to draw on your screen. You will see some B-rolls at this point. And it helps when you're going to show your model to somebody else, to your colleague or group mate. And you want to tell them, hey, this is the change that I did. So you can actually draw on SOLIDWORKS and type notes if you want. Let's see how. Hi, I'm Aryan and I help creative minds and engineers to learn SOLIDWORKS through a new method that I came up with. Very effective. If this is something for you, hit the subscribe button right now and stay tuned because lots of useful tips are coming your way. All right, as I said, let's see how we can do the markup in SOLIDWORKS. This is my attempt to create a gyro and it took me a lot of hours, probably uh, north of five hours. And this is exactly a big failure because I try to follow method that is suitable for Blender and I try to convert those methods into SOLIDWORKS. So it is a gyroid, but the surfaces are not smooth at all. So this, I'm not happy with it. Anyways, we're not here for the model. We are here to go to the evaluate tab and open markup, as you can see here. Markup has different tools. Uh, one of them would be draw and you can change its thickness and color as well. And you can just draw whatever you want, say surface, bad Ugh. okay exclamation exclamation mark you could actually do that and then create a screenshot of your model send it to your colleague or share it on a platform if you wish you could also type notes and then you could arrow it like type fix whatever you want fix this and you could do that as well. So this is a very quick tip. As I said, it tries to rotate with the model, as you can see. You could also erase whatever you have drawn here using eraser, and that would be it. Very short tip. This week was a super busy week, and I could not create a longer video, but I thought maybe this is something worth mentioning. I hope you like it. So guys, the, these tips that I shared with you, especially these short ones that I did two of it this week, are not the cornerstones of learning SOLIDWORKS because I have moved away from the fundamentals a little bit. I have covered enough of those areas and I thought maybe I should address some of the advanced features. That's why I'm going to the small features in some menus that you don't even know exist. If this is off track for you, if this is too much of a jump, it means your foundation is not big enough or strong enough and for that you need to work on your SOLIDWORKS essentials because SOLIDWORKS is much more than just creating cubes or even cars or whatever. You can do a lot of stuff that helps you save time. For example, if you master equations, you could come up with templates that help you save 99% of the time that you would waste otherwise. And I'm not joking, this is calculated. 99 is even a little bit under exaggerated. I have saved hours and I mean many hundreds of hours working with SOLIDWORKS for things that you wouldn't even know you could do with SOLIDWORKS for calculations, creating DXF files for different sizes of a product. I've just changed the parameters and I get my DXF generated done instead of spending eight hours on it, for example. So if you want to work on that and work your way toward becoming a professional in SOLIDWORKS, not just to prove to someone that you are a professional. Maybe you want to get hired and prove to someone as well. You can do that, sure, but to actually make your life easier. Because if you have an imaginative mind and if you're a visual person, knowing how to work with a CAD as an expert is essential to bring all those creative ideas you have into reality. Make it a product, make, make it a service. Make, just look at it, enjoy it. So for that, click on the link in the description below or on the top right corner of the screen and it will take you to my website where you have to register to enter my webinar. It's free, don't worry. It's one hour and I will cover first of all some bad habits that I know you have been building uh, as a result of self-learning SOLIDWORKS or learning from random sources. First, we address those bad habits that I know you are making and we solve it once and for all 
replace it with good habits so you actually know how to work with SolidWorks, then we take it from there. From that point on, after you get your mini course, which is also free, you can decide whether or not you want to progress further with me or my method is not actually working for you. So until that point, there is no catch, there is no commitment. You just get your free webinar and you get your free mini course. Until that point, just don't think about it. It's a no brainer. Go get it. I'm sure you're going to love it. It's added value and you're going to thank me later. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back.